The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this teaching section. I'm Ermen Mireille, teacher of the clothing industry. So I'm a teacher of the export primary theory. So I'm going to teach you people on the textile technology and equipment. That is the lesson. You know, last time, before we left our class, there was an assignment that was given that was to identify artificial fabric because we thought we saw uh, the classification of artificial fabric and we saw some characteristics. So I gave people assignment to, to go and look for fabric in our local markets and going for this class of today. So we are going to correct the assignment. For those who have bought the fabric, please let me see. Let me see the fabric that you people okay came with and how and we look at what I have here also. So some of the artificial fabric that we find on our local market, yeah, yes, that's good. You bought the polyester fabric, it's okay. We know polyester are mostly used for, for lining. We use it to line our dresses. I know it's found everywhere in the market. We also have uh, the viscous fabric. This viscous fabric is what we carry on our lesson of today. That's why I ask people to go and look for it because today we, we, we're going to study in details the viscous fab fiber. And the viscous, most of our bed sheets that we use in the market now that is found everywhere is made of viscous. We also have the acrylic thread, I believe all of us, yeah, like the one that you have, yes, that we go to our salons, we plate hair, we use it for kneading, kneading work, like in pullovers, it's so common, so all of us know about the acrylics fabric. So for our lesson of today, before we begin, we should have a general idea on artificial fibers and their, and their sources. <laughs> After we have done our correction, at least uh, we have seen the different types of fibers, of artificial fibers. We have recall of what we, we, we did last, last, last lesson. So our next lesson now will be on viscose. So today we are going to look at viscose. And we know viscose is a regenerated fiber. At the end of the, this lesson, what is our learning outcome? What are our objectives? So at the end of this lesson, we will have to define viscous and identify, and identify fabrics. We will have to explain the manufacturing process of viscous and also outline the physical and chemical properties. Our plan of our work, that is a content of our lesson of today, we will have an introduction, definition, manufacture, physical properties, chemical properties, integration activity and consolidation exercise. As for our introduction, we all know this course is a regenerated fiber, which means it's not purely synthetic. So this course is, uh, has been developed, developed in England between 1892 and 1898. So in this process, cotton was used, cotton was treated with uh, sodium hydroxide and carbon disulfide to yield a thick, viscous yellow fluid, which could be extruded and coagulated bath in an extruded into a coagulation bath. Since we know it's synthetic, it's regenerated, so it's chemically added. Definition: What is viscous? We said, as we earlier said, 
Viscous is the cellulose fiber, also known as man-made cellulose. Fiber made to be resembles cotton. Viscous is a pure cellulose obtained by the viscous method. There are many types of viscous, named according to the different processes. So, which is converted to soluble form and then regenerated. So we are trying to say that viscous, there are many types of viscous depending on the production process. The raw material that is used to produce viscous is the wool pulp or cotton linter. You know, when the, we, are, we are processing cotton, there are some, there are some uh, fiber, short, short fibers that we also say that is waste. But they are not ways that we can we can transform. Uh, we can transform it to have our viscous. So sometimes even the wood pulp, when we transform our wood, we usually throw the, the, the waste and say that it's waste. It's not waste. There's nothing that is waste. So that's viscous is the product of those put of, of those waste products, wood pulp or cotton linter. So those short fibers are reformed, are we trans are we transformed to by adding some chemicals on it to have viscous. That was said, viscous is not purely chemically made. It's a regenerated form, poop work, poop wood, or cotton linters. Linters with those short, short cotton fibers. The manufacturing process of it. How is viscous process? How is it manufactured? First, we have the treatment of a cellulose. We know we said viscous is a cellulosic fiber. That is, when we talk of cellulose, we talk of a, 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 a plant. So we have to treat the cellulose. How is it treated? Treatment of cellulose, also called as stepping. This phase is also known as stepping. In this process, the cellulose is put in a caustic soda and to obtain the cellulose alkaline comes. So this, the first step in the manufacturing process of viscose is called stepping. The second phase is aging. Aging, which is a transformation now into viscose. So the first stage we transform into cellulose, right? Now we have to transform into viscose. We have to transform now into viscose, which is the process is known as aging. In this period, aging is a period whereby the cellulose is left in an alkaline to shred. Shred means it to come into small, 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 small pieces. After you have shred, the excess cortisol, caustic soda is pressed out, and the cellulose sheets are shredded into tumbling barrel for a chemical reaction to take place in the presence of carbon. carbon Disulfide. All this is a chemical process. For those who know about chemistry, this is a chemical reaction. The third process, the third stage will be dissolving. After we have transformed the cellulose, we have transformed to viscous. Now the viscous strand has to be gathered in a basin of neutralizing acid where it coagulates and then treated to claim to eliminate the undesirable element if i can come back there i will say that what what the explanation here is just that after we have we have treated we have transformed our cellulose in the alkaline bath the next day we have we allow it that is the aging stage now to transform into viscose and the third stage which is dissolving. Now the viscose are gathered. After we have cut our viscose, it is now gathered in a neutralized acid bath where it will coagulate and then it will be treated to eliminate unnecessary elements. After we already gathered our viscose, the next step is spinning because now we already have our viscous, so now we can spin to have our threads, and after that we can weave now to have fabric. So the viscous solution is formed into a spinning tank, 
and force by the pump through a spinner rate. The spinner rate is the apparel on two, which is used in the production of synthetic fibers. So it is forced into that pump and will come out in the elongated form. And when it comes out now, it is solidified in in a in form of filament in a in a coagulating bath. So we are trying to see the picture. So when it comes for the spinning, we already have our viscous. We put in a spinning in a spinning rate, which is that which is that uh, uh, apparel that would help us to have our viscous filament. So when it comes out from the spinner, it is solidified in an acid coagulating bath. After it has come out in the elongated shape, because it comes out very long, that's why we said it's in the filament form. So you can cut it into staple, staple fiber that short, short according to their end use. What is your end use? Okay, so you can cut it that should resemble wool or cotton. We know wool and cotton, natural fibers are staple. So you can cut it there in the shape that you desire. After we have seen uh, the, the, the processing, how this course is processed, we are going to look at the physical and the textile properties of, of the fiber, of viscous fiber. First, we look at the appearance. How does viscous look in, 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 when you look in touch, in, when you see, how does it appear? You see that it's white and shiny like silk. So when you look at viscous fab fab fabric, it will be shiny like silk. And they are very shiner than the staple ones. They say the filament ones, because we know at first it comes out in the filament form. And after we say we can we can cut it into staple. So the filament ones are more shiner than the, the staple ones. The fabric soft, comfortable, depending on the fiber fineness and the fabric construction. The strength. We know fibers must possess some properties, and strength is one of the, of the properties that the fiber must, must, must possess. So you see that viscous is, has good strength. It has good strength, and uh, is, it, it, significantly, when it is dry, it has good strength, but when it is wet, the strength is, is low. So that's one of the properties of viscous. When you put it in water, it, it, it loses its strength. So, so that's one of the, the, the property of viscous. Elasticity. Elasticity is fairly good, not that good. It means that uh, it does not stretch. Hmm? It does not really stretch. So the elasticity is fairly good. Absorbency. It is hydrophilic, that is, it absorbs book absorbance. Meaning that you can take dyes, you can dye it. You can add color in it because it has good absorbance. Also, this color fabric takes time to dry. Take time to, to dry. The hygienic values of viscose. Hygienic values of viscose. We have viscose, the insulating property, which means viscose can conduct heat. Okay, that's why it says comfortable. It was one of his physical properties that was comfortable because it can, it can con conduct heat and uh, you can improve it by napping. Napping with me, you can raise some short, short fibers at the, at the surface to make it more insulative. Also, the resiliency. It is not resilient, which means if, if it, it does not come back to its normal shape when it is stretched. Okay, so it, it, it has no resilience, which means if you if you stretch it, it will not it will not come back to its normal to its normal shape. Okay, it loses its shape, so it needs uh, a press resistant finish, and care must be taken while you you watch it. The chemical property of of viscous burning. We'll talk of the chemical properties. Uh, how it reacts to certain, uh, it, have, it reacts to certain tests, okay? So, we will look at uh, the burning test, 
the burning test, when you burn with this gold, is similar to cutting, which means it burns rapidly. And uh, the, the, it smells like a burning paper. So how do you recognize it? This is a viscous fabric by burning. When it burns it, you see it's, uh, it's regenerated from cotton, pork, from cotton printers. You see that the burning test will resemble the one of cutting, that it smells as a burning paper. How it react also in chemical agents? Mm -hmm. We have chemical testing also by uh, we said uh, acid is destructive, so it does not support acid. It, acid will destroy the fiber. Mm -hmm. Acid will destroy the fiber, but it's good in base solution. Basis solution has no effect on the viscous fiber. How do we care for our viscous fabric? How do we care for our viscous fabric? Wash in a warm, soapy water using the normal detergent. Before going to give the care and the maintenance, it's always good when you buy your fabric to always read the care label when you are not really sure so that you can it can last for long, so it's always good to look at the care level of your of the fabric. But we are going to, I'm going to give you people some uh, some care, some care and maintenance. How can we care for our viscose? First thing, we wash it in warm soapy water using a normal detergent. Avoid twisting, rubbing, and boiling, especially the filament fibers. We know it has poor resiliency, okay? So that's why you should not twist. Because if you twist, you will not, you will just be twist. You will not be good to see. You will destroy it. After you have washed, you waste very well because we said it reacts to chemical. Acid we we deteriorate the fabric. So you have to waste your fabric so well so that the excess detergent that is there should run out. You dry in a shade so that you don't dry in direct sunlight. Since direct sunlight will affect the, the fabric. So you, do, you dry it on a shade. Iron with a fairly hot iron. That is, the iron should not be hot because we said it will affect the fiber. Hot iron will affect the fiber. You dry it with normal solvent. If you have to wash in a machine, you use a normal solvent. So these are some uh, laundry symbols. Some laundry care level symbols. These care level symbols you most you find that what I was saying in the in the beginning that before you take care of your viscous or any fabric, you must always look at the, the care level. So for our viscous, this is the care level. It said you watch viscous in Cold 40 degree. Mm? No chlorine bleach. You don't bleach it. You iron at a low temperature, medium temperature. That is 150. If you are having a, a, a iron that is having the according to the degree Celsius, 150, or if you have the one that has been marked with dots, you put your you, you regulate your iron to the to, to, to two dots. That is not that too much. And you dry clean. Dry cleaning means machine wash using the tetrachloroethylene solvent. That key is a solvent that you have to use while you are dry cleaning. And you don't tumble dry. You don't tumble dry, which means you don't dry in the machine. After you have dry cleaned, you, you move it and you dry it on the shade. So you don't tumble dry because it will damage the fiber. The uses, the uses. What are the uses of viscose? What is a viscose used for? So you, we know we wear dresses, sometimes we don't even know this is viscose. And uh, so viscose is used for laundry. Laundry means like our nighty, our nighty, mm, our underwear, our innerwear, our breastwear, and gowns. Mm? 
lining, sewing, embroidery, and home furnishing. These are some images accompanying with some images that at least we take a look and uh, we can relate ourselves to what we are saying. We should not be dreaming because in our market we have all those fabrics. So, as we said, household furnishing. We look, we see, we can see carpets, all for three, that is materials for chairs. Okay? As I was saying, our laundries. Mm? Our laundries, our dress cloth. Look, that's a t-shirt made of viscose. After all said, after all the explanations, so... Uh, we are going to see if we have assimilated, assimilate what we, uh, if we have assimilated, assimilate what we just we just learned. So then we, I will give you people a consolidation exercise that uh, we will answer together. Question one: With the help of symbols, how will you care? For your viscous dress. How will you care for your viscous? For your viscous dress. Okay. Yes. As we said earlier, we have a care leveling that will enable us to take good care of our viscous fabric or cloth or garment. Those are the various care symbols. We have the washing symbol. Mm. We said the viscous should be washed at 40 degrees Celsius by hand, hand washing. We have, we should not be bleached, that's no chlorine. We iron at medium temperature. We dry clean with the tetra chloroethylene solvent and we do not tumble dry. So now I will give an assignment for the next. Uh, for the next class, a take-home assignment. So you take your assignment for the next class. I will read the assignment and you will write it down. Assignment. Apply your knowledge on the different characteristics of viscous. Identify a viscous fabric and bring to class during our next lesson. So, our next class, our next class will be on the asserted fiber, which is also a regenerated fiber. <laughs> Ona tege minga matege nyum, ona tege majang matege ndom, mane tambia ninya ne njubia yen, ngani bana matege mot, ngani la kiri watege ndom, esa kina bia dinki do, mane tambia ninya ne njubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike. Tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen